find the domain of the vector function r of t is equal to the square root of 36 minus t squared e to the negative 5t and the natural log of the quantity t plus 4. So when we want to find the domain of any function, we want to find the limitations placed on the independent variable. Here, that is t. So we want to find the minimum and maximum value that t is able to be to satisfy the components of the vector function r of t. So to do this, we can look at the individual components. There are three in this vector function and see what the limitations are for t so that each component is defined. So for example, for the square root of 36 minus t squared, we know that the argument here, 36 minus t squared, must be greater than or equal to 0 because we can't have a square root of anything less than 0. Square root of a negative number is imaginary. So 36 minus t squared is greater than or equal to 0. So that means that t is between negative 6 and 6 and also equal to negative 6 and 6 because we can take the square root of 0, but we cannot take the square root of anything less than 0. Moving on to the second component, e to the negative 5t, t here has no restrictions whatsoever. So t can be anything, but we've already been limited between uh, negative 6 and 6, so t will exist in that range. But with an exponential function, t can equal any value. So the third component is the natural log of t plus 4. So we know the argument, this part of a natural log function, must be greater than 0. We can take the natural log of anything greater than 0. So t plus 4 is greater than 0. So we know that t must be greater than negative 4. Using these two components of the domain, we combine both of these restrictions and we can use the interval notation with brackets and parentheses to indicate that t must be greater than negative 4 and less than 6, but it's less than or equal to 6 and only greater than negative 4, so we use a parenthesis on the left to indicate that we're excluding negative 4, but any value above negative 4 is good, and we use a bracket on the 6 to indicate that t can also be equal to 6.